the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 124. Song of Songs 1 to 4. The love story in Song of Songs. Solomon sang God's love for humans through the pure and intense love between himself and the Shulamite woman. First point. Through Song of Songs, we can read about God's unfailing love for us. Solomon, who was recorded as one of the greatest kings of Israel, fell deeply in love with a Shulamite woman. Their love for one another exceeded everything. True love is about considering one another and focusing on one another. When one is next to the other, the last of the scenery goes bloody. True love means that one makes the other person feel extraordinary and respected. Through Solomon's Song of Songs, we can learn about God's unfailing love for us. Second point, love starts with looking at each other. Solomon was the wisest king to be recorded in the history of Israel. Solomon was also the representative king when it came to luxuries. But when Solomon fell in love, all those things faded out and he became just a man in love. Through this love that Solomon experienced, we can see how God loves us so perfectly and affectionately. Solomon expressed his love as such. I liken you, my darling, to a mare among perilous chariot horses. Your cheeks are beautiful with the earrings, your neck with the strings of jewels. We will make you earrings of gold studded with silver. A person who is in love has an ever-expanding heart. Solomon fell in love with a woman who was much lower in status than him, but that was irrelevant to him. They became each other's greatest joy. Here we can really learn about God's profound love for us. Third point, true love lies within each other. If one is in love, everything looks and appears beautiful. This is like how God forgives us and loves us despite our flaws and faults. The fig tree forms its early fruit. The blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. Solomon's prosperity of the fig tree and vines also represents the love he feels for the Shulamite woman. During Solomon's lifetime, Judah and Israel from Dan to Beersheba lived in safety, everyone under their own vine and under their own fig tree. When two people are in love, they are not two but one. That is why they share in their joy and in their pain. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit apart from me. You can do nothing. First point, love overcomes social status. Song of Songs 3, verses 1 to 5, recites the song of the bride who misses her husband, and verses 6 to 11 follows on to the song of the Jerusalem woman who also waits for marriage. All night long on my bed, I looked for the one my heart loves. I looked for him, but did not find him. I will get up now and go about the city through its streets and squares. I will search for the one my heart loves. So I looked for him, but did not find him. The watchmen found me as they made their rounds in the city. Have you seen the one my heart loves? 
without effort or waiting, love cannot last. In order to find true love, one must do anything they can in order to meet them. We must also have the same attitude towards God. The king of Israel, Solomon, comes to meet his wife, the Shulamite woman. True love overcomes status. Likewise, despite our faults and flaws, God still loves us and pours his efforts on us. Fifth point, our focus should always be towards God. How beautiful you are, my darling. Oh, how beautiful. Your eyes behind your veil are doves. Your hair is like a flock of goats descending from the hills of Gilead. Your teeth are like a flock of sheep, just shown coming up from the washing. Each has its twin, not one of them is alone. Your lips are like a scarlet ribbon. Your mouth is lovely. Your temples behind your veil are like the harvest of a pomegranate. Your neck is like the Tower of David, built with the courses of stone. On it hang a thousand shields, all of them shields of warriors. Solomon was someone who had in his hands the greatest power and the greatest wealth. But the greatest thing to him was the Shulamite woman. This was true love. We cannot understand this in theory. God loved us so much that he sent his one and only son. That is ultimate love. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.